here I am with the incredibly talented Tony Humphreys. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So, when did you start creating music? I started writing poetry and stuff when I was probably about nine years old. Uh, but I actually probably started being around like musicians and jamming with guitarists and drummers and bassists and stuff when I was like 14. Wow. But I've always sort of loved rhythm and mm. started yeah, yeah, writing yeah. poetry that, you know, turned into raps and so on and so forth. So like, yeah, from, for a while now. Wow, awesome. So would you say hip hop is the, is the music genre that you're most comfortable with? I just, um, I just love music. I just really, really love music, but I do really, really connect with uh, hip hop and rap um, in a very, very deep way. I don't think I can quite explain the connection I have with hip hop or rap mm. or, or music uh, entirely, which I don't know, I guess maybe I don't have to. Or maybe that's a, like the cool part of it, but yeah. I, I just I just love being around music. Music for mm. me makes me feel very, very comfortable, very at peace yeah. with things. It um, does that though, it has such a massive yeah. effect on so people. So powerful, it's yeah. so powerful. Like, and, we, and we hear it every day and it's used in so many ways. Like, I know this is quite an old example, but I mean, imagine watching a film with no music. That would be weird. It'd be trippy, right? Yeah. Like, imagine Jaws without that thing. <gasps> no, that wouldn't be the same. Right, exactly. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. Music is the one, I believe. <laughs> I believe. It's the words of wisdom from you. Um, out of all the incredible hip hop artists, who would you say has influenced you the most? <sighs> there is there is so many. Um, there really is so many. Uh, I'll name a few. I mean, I, I I love Eminem. I think Eminem is incredible. Um, I think Dr. Dre is just maybe not from this planet, <laughs> but I mean, the, the the man is just incredible. Um, I remember like going back to uh, like some of the first CDs I got when I was younger and, and really getting into rappers. I remember yeah. a great artist called Exhibit from the West Coast who some people obviously remember. Mr. X to the Z from Pit by Ride and yeah. stuff, but the dude just oh, has yeah, he was, bars, yeah, man. Like, he's he is, really yeah, he's so sick. So there's, yeah, there's a, and, you know, of course, Tupac and Biggie and, and but yeah, there's a few artists that I really, I really love. Yeah. So you were in a rock band, Nylon Sky. How do you think the experiences with Nylon Sky has shaped you as a person and musically? Damn. Damn, girl. <laughs> I have to think about that one. Um, I was in that band for 10 years, so... Wow, it, a massive part of you. Yeah, absolutely. It shaped so much of my life. Um, I think it really taught me a lot about patience and understanding mm -hmm. and um, realising that music is not a game. Like, you, if, you, if you want it and you really, you know, you you want to travel the world, you want to play venues, you want to connect with people, you want to live off what you love, and you best be prepared to bleed and sweat and, you know, do absolutely anything and everything you have to do, bar, you know, tricking or, or going against your moral compass, yeah. you know? It's, it's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta be on the same page with the people that say that they want it, yeah. you know, like, and you have to all really want it. Um, but yeah, I mean, nah, I, I've just, I just, there's, there's, there's so much I learned from, from being in that band, really. Uh, yeah, too much, I guess, to go into. But because even as I said that part, I sort of did the whole like, oh, but I don't want people to just take away that, you know? I didn't just learn about patience. I just learned about so much, man, yeah. you know? Like, I just, so much, so. Do you have any crazy stories that you want to share? Oh, too many. <laughs> um, I don't know how. I don't know what I can say here because. Uh, know, maybe some... PG. Okay, PG. <laughs> uh, PG. Yeah, <laughs> okay, PG. Well, you, your mosh pits for Nylon Sky was the sort of thing where someone would would glass their hand mm. and keep on going. It yeah. was that level. Yeah, it was it was intense. People really got into it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll give them that. Yeah, I'll give them Surry that. would cut. Would we we'd get, get on a huge coach and go down to Brighton yeah. and wherever yeah, and see know, you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, ab absolutely. It was it was crazy. It, it really was, and it was, it's an amazing time. Like I got to see like. America and got to go to Germany and got oh, to go to awesome. Amsterdam and like play shows and, and these amazing places and I got to do it with with my brothers and people I really loved and cared about and it was a it was a hell of experience but it, it definitely it definitely taught me like so much personally and just so much about this industry and people and you know everybody 
I've worked with is always so passionate. Yeah. And they really do like live it and breathe it and you know there's there's sort of there's nothing else you know and mm. and they're the people that I've always been lucky enough to associate myself with so it's like yeah a lot and I can't think of anything PG I'm really sorry <laughs> <laughs> I was no, trying as I was fun. talking there and I was like nah, there's nothing it's all just outrageous <laughs> it's all just super horrible <laughs> people only knew one day we'll do like a an, an X-rated. An X-rated, yeah, yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Naughty Nine on Sky. Naughty Nine on Sky. <laughs> Hashtag top top. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me about your new songs. They're categorically about change. What message are you trying to bring to the listeners? Um, hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just making music, but I think mm. you've definitely hit hit the nail on the head when you, you mentioned change. I think that um, I think that when people listen to my album, at the end of it, mm. I think after hearing everything, they'll they'll be like, oh yeah, there was definitely a a change there. Yeah, you know, there's there's definitely a change. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's all I'll say. But I think change is a massive part of it. Yeah, I think when you listen to the album as well, you'll you'll understand that yeah. a lot more those side of things. So, yeah. Has there been a change within yourself, do you say, that's affected your music or it's just come out naturally when you were creating? Um, I think being around the people I'm around um, is, you know, like, it's, it's funny, when, when we went to, to start making this album, I essentially asked a dance group and a guy that had been a drummer and a sort of again, another dance producer to make a hip hop album. Yeah. So um, everyone's had to go through a lot of change, yeah. I feel really. Everyone sort of to, to get on each other's level and, and to, because I was very sort of specific mm. with, with what I, I, I yeah. wanted, but you know, everybody went and did their own thing as well. Yeah. So like- They changed, committed and it works. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, like absolutely. Um, and yeah, I think just a lot of change personally and just sort of like, working with different people you know as yeah. I mentioned before I'd only ever worked with Nylon Sky really yeah. and that was 10 years and now yeah. I was out of that bubble and a great bubble it was but I was out of it and, and it was like whoa okay the new personal like, adventure yeah, there's people that have played on my album Mickey, that I just haven't met Yeah, I just haven't met some people that have played <laughs> on my album you know that's mental to me like yeah. that's that's crazy you know so yeah it was just a lot of change mm. change so you just um, played a gig the other day, your first gig. How was that? That was really cool. That was really, really cool. Um, it was nice to take the stuff that we've been working on for two and a half years and just get in a room full of people that we don't know and go, here it is, yeah. and then go, yeah, right. <laughs> was pretty good. That's great. Yeah, that was nice. That was yeah, nice. So that, that was fun. Yeah. And, and finally, last question. Do you, is there a motto that you have in life? Mm, yeah, I do. I'm going to sound really lame and cheesy, but I wholeheartedly believe in this. Um, now, just we only have now, I only have now, there is only now. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Producer and drummers behind the camera just being like, yeah. <laughs> he is actually worse it's than true, that. It's true, though. No, it is true. <laughs> the past is history, the future is unknown, and the present is a gift. Mm. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. <laughs>